Hi guys, Larissa here with Newton Nooks Designs and today I want to share with you the new June release called Chicken Scratches. Love, love, love this sweet little set. Being a country girl, there are tons of fun little scenes that you can create and you can even use this for several other things besides just cards. So this is the card that I've created for the release, and I've used some My Favorite Things dies to create a fun little angled background, and then I've created a masked background using the new chicken wire stamp, and then the fun little scene with the chickens, and I've used some paper piecing just for a fun touch, and then I've also used a uh, cutting plate background to emboss the background of my card and I just love the way that this looks. So the new stamp set is called Chicken Scratches and this is such a sweet little set. There are so many cute little images in this set. Love the different borders and you can create borders or fun backgrounds with it along with the cute little chicken images and several little images to create fun scenes along with the little sentiments that we have in the set. So let's stamp this out and see what we can create. First of all we're going to stamp this fun little chicken wire background and as you can tell you can line this up to create fun little chicken wire backgrounds love this option. So many possibilities with this. So you can stamp it out singly or line it up and stamp it for a fun background. You can leave a little bit of room in between or you can butt them right up against each other. One of the things that's nice about clear stamps, love this. I'm going to be using it a lot. The next little image is the little chicken feet background stamp. Another sweet, sweet, sweet little image. So many possibilities with this little guy. Love that you can add this around the edge. You can continue it to create a fun little border. You can build upon it to create just some texture just love this little image. Next we have the large chicken and there are so many things you can do with this from paper piecing to create fun little chicken images or you can create scenes with some of the other little baby chicks. I'm sorry guys, I'm stamping that upside down. There's the little baby. And here's the other little baby that's eating. And one of the little images is a little seed stamp. So you can stamp that right at the ground like the little chick is eating. Love it. And then we have kind of a little clover little piece of grass. And you can either have this coming out of the beak of one of the chicks or just singly coming off the ground to use for a fun little scene. And then we have the grass, and this little grass image is so perfect. I can see that I'm going to be using this a ton. So you can create a fun border with this little set as well to continue all the way across the bottom of a card to create grass. And then have your little images within the little grass image, or you can just do one on either side of whatever image you've stamped out. And let's go ahead and stamp this large chick again the right way. 
and then we'll add the sentiments. I love the play on words. Best of cluck. So cute. So many different occasions that you could use that for. And this one just checking in. Just chicken in. Love it. Another kind of play on words. And last but not least is Hey Chick. And I've used this sentiment on my card today. So, as you can tell, so many fun things that you can do with this stamp set. And I wanted to share with you how to do some masking. So I went ahead and started. I've used the same background to die cut some metal foil. And I've just layered that onto some ombre kind of colored paper. And then I've die cut kind of an hexagon shape. And we're going to be stamping on this to create a fun little scene. You can either use masking paper or you can use just some sticky note paper, the sticky side of a post-it note, and that will be perfect too for images to mask when you're creating things like this, scenes. So first we're going to take the large little chick image and we're just going to stamp it kind of off to the side here. And then we're going to stamp one of the little babies. And now we're going to add our little mask that I've created and cut out of some masking paper. And we're just going to line that up over the body of our chicken here. And here's the little tail. And the one thing I love about these masks is once you've created them, I always stick mine to the back side of my stamp set and that way I have them for the next time I need them. So once you create them, you can use them several times before you have to do them over again. So that makes it really nice too when you go to the effort of cutting them out. Then we're going to grab our hexagon shape here and we're going to stamp right over the top of our little chicken scene here. And I'm actually going to stamp this off once, off to the side, because I just want a lighter image. And we're just going to come in here and stamp it like that. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come and stamp this off, and then we're going to line this up to finish our border. And one more time, I think, down here in the corner. Stamp it off. And add our fun little border image. And I think I'm going to do it one more time, just kind of up here off to the corner. All right. And now we're going to come back in with some grass. And I think I'm going to add that. Actually, I don't think. Actually, I don't think I am. I think now we're just going to come in and add our sentiment. And I think we'll do just chicken in.
And the real fun comes when you peel off the masks and you can see what you've created around your images. So there we've stamped our fun little background. And now we're going to take off our masks. And as you can see, it looks like you've stamped the chickens amongst the chicken wire. And now I can color that in or paper piece it. And I'll probably add a little ribbon or something. And we have a fun little masked image. So I hope you enjoyed the first look at the new June release called Chicken Scratches for Newton's Nook Designs. I hope you'll check out the blog for your chance to win one of these stamp sets and come back again tomorrow for a look at our second release for the June release. Thanks so much for watching today and have a fabulous, fabulous day.